Food of Course Cookery School was established in 2000 and it's a home and a cookery school and to me one of the key things was to create a great environment for people to learn to cook. You can see here you've got bits of paper and if the mixture goes in there it could go behind and then you're going to bake your cake and you're going to have to peel it off. I offer one week or four week residential courses so everybody's living in. It's a small group, there's a maximum of seven students on a course. I am the principal teacher, I am the only teacher. I have my eyes and ears on everybody all the time in the sense that I get a feel of what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. The way the day starts is that we have a programme set. We will go through the theory of the recipe, there will be a certain amount of demonstration and then it's hands-on. This is a really, really practical course. It's theory, practical, eat. When I came here it was much, much better than I had imagined because of this amazing house and um, the people here. And what surprised me most was that in the first day we just went on cooking and it was not like, so I'm going to demo you how the basic stuff is, but we just cracked on, as you say. Certainly in the first week, I was kind of just skimming them over thinking, oh yeah, when I get onto that recipe, I'll just wing it type thing. But now I'm really feeling the recipe. I guess like my confidence is just double, triple. The house is a really interesting place for everyone to come and stay. The bit that I am also passionate about is the garden, and we do tend to grow quite a lot of vegetables uh, and all sorts of interesting things in the garden many of which end up, of course, in the kitchen. Roger's been absolutely amazing. I'm in charge of the cookery school and he does the veggie garden. And one of the things that's so amazing in the summer months here, we're growing so much vegetables, so from the garlic, the parsley, the thyme, all the herbs at the moment, and then having it in the house and learning about preserving, making your jams, making your marmalades. So they're learning the storage of food, which is so important. It's beautiful here. I, I had heard that the countryside is gorgeous. It's in a, a comfortable environment, whereas it's not in a classroom where it feels everything's kind of structured and pressured and it's a good place to learn how to cook. That's what I love about food is, you know, it brings people together and there's all these kind of cultural influences. When you're here on the weekends as well, you're getting much more familiar to this house and to the other people. And we had this dinner on Saturday where we just had a spontaneous cookery course like, and um, that was great because then you get to know each other better. The nice thing is that at the end of the day, you get the reward of eating together as a little, small community family where it really feels that your work has paid off. Also, um, the different courses, how they match together and how their presentation will be and how I will be able to cook them and present them so that they all match together nicely. We get to know the students incredibly well. It's very sad when they leave. Obviously, we keep in touch, but this will be one of the most important months in their lives because it is educating them in something that they might not necessarily have initially volunteered for, but they realise where it's going to take them for the rest of their lives.